Yeah, all the business owner doing some work. Pretty busy at the moment. We normally have Liz over here on the side, but she's gone now. But um, yeah, this is her desk where she does all the invoicing. Dad does most of that stuff too, all the orders. Uh, does all quoting, all that type of stuff. But you can see that's probably what he's doing right now. And if we go up the back, let me just close this door. Okay, here. Show you guys what, they're, 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 what we're doing. As you can see, we collect a lot of bottles. I have to talk about yellow. We're doing yellow at the moment. And I'll explain how the system works and how we do everything. You know, what code is. I know we haven't uploaded in a while. It has been a while. We've got the boys here, we've got Dougie on the right and Scott on the left. And they're doing some work. They're doing some work. Scott normally does the dipping, Doug normally does all the prepping, wipes everything down, gets everything cleaned up so we can straight start powder coating it and then it goes in the oven to about 180, 200 degrees. It depends what it says on the powder box. If I could just find a powder box I can show you guys. Cure. Five minutes at 200. So. That's what that colour has to be and cure that. So you can see it says it on all the other boxes. And that's how it all gets processed and because each colour is different. I don't know, I would have to get Dale to explain that because I'm not hundred percent sure with that stuff. But um you gotta cure them at like different temperatures and stuff. And I'll show you guys where all the stuff gets prepped, <coughs> which Dougie does, the one on the right over here that was just over here just before. Scott does all the dipping for the aluminium, so it gets the dips and stuff, and put in acid and chromate and rinse. If we get in here, they're probably gonna bully me because I'm like videoing them. But as you see, we got Dougie here sanding the stuff down, prepping it all. Then he's gonna wipe it down. We got the two boys here prepping everything. Same thing, same job as what Dougie does. Got everything prepped. They're just sanding it and wiping it all down. We've got Scott over here doing some more dipping. We're going here where all the, all the hard work goes. Normally they would be in here spraying with all this stuff. In the box, they'd be spraying, bang straight in the oven. And then it just gets cooked up to like whatever temperature. As you can see right here, it's on 218. Uh, 211, sorry. That's the, I don't know, that's the rear bumper, so I think, I think that's the burners back here. But the overall temperature is 210. So you see it needs, so it needs to be turned off about now, but I'm not sure how to do that yet. It's not only new, it's stuff. My parents have, been, have like 30 odd years experience with doing powder coating. And so, yeah, here's Scott right now taking it out, taking the dip out, I believe the chromate. This goes straight in the rinse. And that, I'm pretty sure the dipping is done. We'll have to get Dale to explain how it all works because I'm not 100% sure, as I said. Got all the bottles. We're gonna get Dylan, the mechanic, he's out here. Just, he's a really good mechanic. Fixes cars and stuff, so. Helps out my mom and dad, fix their cars, whatever's wrong with them. We walk down the back right now, so we're gonna time lapse it so we can walk up there. We're working on is the Beamer. Josh and Dylan are already fixing the van. Let me jump this real quick. They're just fixing a temperature thing. They've had to fix the engine. Still warming it up, eh? Yeah, I'm just making a video if you don't mind. Yeah, we're filming a video for A1. Cool, yeah, so they're trying to figure out that. Just fix the van up and play some bangers at the same time while they're working. Yeah, I know. Wait, wait, so you call my legs small? Yeah, they've got mini pants on them. Alright, uh, fair enough. Carry on. <laughs> Do I look at his pants? They're like midget. And um, yeah, we got the Beamer, it's my dad's car. All 
hopefully mine sometime, but it needs a lot of fixing work onto it. It's like a 10 year old car. I'm not going to explain too much because the topic that we're on right now is powder coating, not cars. Yeah, as I said, we used the forklift for all this stuff, all the big stuff out here. Oh, you should use the gas for the oven. Here's Scott again taking the dip out. And here he goes, laying straight down. We'll get some of the boys start cleaning it up and that's where it goes, straight in the booth and then out of the oven and all the way down here. This is where all the sandblasting happens. Sandblasting. So all the stuff that's like rusted and metal and stuff like that goes right in here. So if we open the door up, uh, yep. Bang, this is where all the magic happens in here. Get the sandblast of the thing and get that all cleaned up. And then ready to coat and stuff. So you see we've done some rims that are sandblasted. Ready to go get powder coated and cleaned up. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Walk down now back to Dale. Hopefully he can tell you guys what we specialize in, what type of jobs we do, all that stuff. So well, hopefully he can explain it if he's not busy doing quotes and whatnot. So we're pretty busy here at A1. Also we have Pacific Powder Coating, which my uncle runs, that's my dad's brother. Runs that too, so we have two companies. Uh, same, different names, same thing. But um, yeah. Still doing some quotes. So he's ordering parts for the sandblaster because it needs fixing. So yeah, might be able to tell you guys what we specialize in when he's not busy. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hi, at A1 Powder Coating we specialize in handrail, balustrades, privacy screens. We also do same day service on wheels, bring your car in in the morning, bring it back to you in the afternoon, everything done.